I'm Isha Haruzi. I'm a consultant cardiologist at Cedar Sinai Medical Center at the Heart Institute, and I'm a clinical professor at UCLA. I just uh, finished presenting a paper at the International Academy uh, Cardiology meeting in Vancouver in July of 2017. The title of my presentation was Pericardial Cyst Revisited. Pericardial cyst is a very rare phenomenon and it is an outpouching of the parietal, parietal pericardium that it most of the time a benign phenomenon and just a footnote in the medical records. However, on rare occasions, pericardial cyst may cause problems. We presented a case of a lady with known pericardial cyst since 1998, and she's 77 years old now. We have been following her with CT scans, and in the end of 2015, we noticed increase in the size of the cyst. Concomitantly, she developed persistent atrial fibrillation, which did not respond to electrocardioversion and uh, to uh, ablation attempt. As a result, we thought that the pericardial cyst has something to do with, this, with these complications, and we asked that she'll be seen by a thoracic surgeon in an attempt to drain the cyst surgically. The, the, the surgeon insisted on having an MRI of the heart, and lo and behold, we noticed one month after having a failed cardioversion that the pericardial cyst disappeared. We assumed that the pericardial cyst disappeared as a result of the electrical energy that was delivered during the cardioversion in March of 2016. We followed the patient and we noticed that her atrial fibrillation persisted, but it was much easier to control the heart rate. Eventually, in August of 2016, another chest CT shows that there was no even a remnant of the pericardial cyst. At this point, we believe that if we try our treatment once again, we may succeed. We waited several months, and in June of 2017, she had a repeat ablation, and the result of this ablation, sinus rhythm was restored, and the patient felt much better. This pericardial cyst phenomenon prompted us to look in the literature and also in our records to see if we can find other cases. A radiologist who was interested in the subject found in the last year 10 cases of pericardial cyst noticed on a chest CT not done for the pericardial cyst but for the other causes. We had 10 patients, three women and 10 men, and in eight of them, we had a follow-up of uh, three to five years. We noticed that there was a minor increase in the size of the pericardial cysts uh, seen on CT, but none of these pericardial cysts caused any problems. The patient, most of them, did not, were not even aware of it. So, we showed uh, images of pericardial cyst on the CT of our case report and also of our registry. And we also showed pathological pictures of resected pericardial cyst. And our conclusion was that we present here the first case ever of a pericardial cyst which was which disappeared after electrocardioversion. We believe that the electrical current caused the rupture 
of the pericardial cyst, which uh, did not leave any marks after a few months of follow-up. This uh, accidental results were beneficial in this case, but may not be beneficial in uh, other cases. Also, the way to follow pericardial cyst is to do re repeat CTs, uh, chest CTs. Echo and chest X-rays are not as good modalities for this uh, follow-up. 